right, guys, I got a question. Are you ready to talk about uh, dick and balls? I'm, I'm dead serious. That is actually the thing we have to talk about right now. Uh, dick and balls. It may seem like I'm trying to make a joke, but no, I'm, I'm dead serious. We are going to be having a conversation about a different content creator uh, showing everybody for some reason uh, their dick and balls. Uh, also, this creator was dead. Or at least uh, we were all supposed to believe they were dead. Uh, and that didn't turn out to be the case. Uh, but I wonder if this particular behavior might have been plagiarized from someone else. I don't know, though. Let's find out. But first, let's go ahead and bring up the... <laughs> Let's go and bring up the fan art section. This one is from Anubian. I face swapped service with my partner, uh, Red Joker, because I, I must be part of all the cursed face swaps. As always, thank you for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, drop it into the fan art section of the Discord. That said, guys, a while back, uh, H Bomber Guy made a video on plagiarism in which a lot of conversation was made about Illuminati and James Summerton. Oh, this is, uh, that's, I need WD-40 in this chair. Uh, during that video, it was basically shown that almost every single thing James Summerton had ever done was stolen from other content creators, almost always smaller content creators, and never with proper credit given to any of them. No conversation was had with those content creators as to whether or not he would be engaging in this, you know, in, in, what he was doing and with no conversation being had with them at all no consent being given he didn't even do the base minimum of saying hey uh, i got this from here please talk to these people so then after a lot of people got on to him uh for what he had been doing stealing from a bunch of content creators he made a video saying that he was going to be having all of the proceeds uh from his videos go to the right content creators from now on apparently and then i don't know if that went anywhere um something was said about him getting in contact with some people who hbomb had gotten in contact with and then that didn't seem to go anywhere and then he posted a effectively a suicide letter but one of his editors uh, said that he was fine. Like, the... <laughs> it came out that he was fine. So... Uh, it's, it's so hard to cover this because there's so much that goes into it. But we were told, like, okay, he's fine. And then uh, Peter fucking Coffin, for some reason, uh, decided to make a video, or not a, vi a video and a Twitter post saying that H Bomber Guy was responsible for the death of James Summerton. I, I, I cannot help but feel like the, the lore running this deep is just pulling the clowns out of everywhere. Just says, who is Peter Coffin? A larger leftist streamer than I am, who I normally would not talk about because of my general policy about talking about other leftist streamers. I don't feel like it's good form to do so when we've got other shit that is way more important that needs to be talked about. But I, I, when the dude literally makes content on the internet blaming H Bomber Guy for the death of another content creator... And then we find out that uh, none of that was true. Yeah, no, this is this is the insane world we live in. This is the insane world we live in. So imagine my shock when while at breakfast today uh, with my wonderful girlfriend, Saki, Morth uh, Mortham says, oh, are we talking about Peter Coffin? Oh, no, what did I walk into? Uh, Peter Coffin talking about how uh, H-Bomber guy is responsible for the death of James uh, James Summerton and James Summerton uh, turning out to actually be alive the entire time. Uh, and the, the, the lore runs deep, and I do not have the capacity to catalog all of the lore. So instead... I am going to be relying on another content creator, and unlike James Summerton, I will actually be crediting their work. Uh, this is Lady Emily over on Twitter, at Great Cheshire. Uh, they're the person who has actually got all of this information together for us to look at, so please go follow them for more of this and the original 
sources. But let's go ahead and take a look here. So she says, by the way, since some people have figured it out on their own already, just got to say the same day Jane Summerton put a post faking his death, he rebranded his alt account and then posted about TV shows and horny posted. So after faking his death the same day, apparently he makes another Twitter account called That Gay You Know. And just started posting a ton about them. About, about you know, just like shows and shit like that. Please don't fake your fucking death on the internet unless you're making like a quick joke that's lasts maybe 10 seconds and everybody understands it's a joke. Please don't do that. Also, hi, Lore. Welcome here. Never, ever, ever. Lady Emily then goes on to say, <clears throat> the, same, uh, the same day James posted his first YouTube apology, he started an alt account for himself. Originally under the attempted rebrand name of The Gay Racon uh, Raconteur? Since then, it was rebranded as an anal-themed account and a shark-themed account before assuming the fake identity of Will. Uh, let's just go ahead and double-check that there's no things I'll be upset about showing on YouTube or anything. Oh, boy. Barbie will not be nominated for Best Makeup and Hair at the Oxford. There's just saying how. Nothing major there. But this is th just showing that that was their post from ages ago. December 21, 23, the gay raconteur, and then the Achillean boy. It, it's, that's all, it's all just James Summerton. Lady Emily then goes on to say, Of note is this time in between Apology 1 and Apology 2, where he, on his alt, began arguing in defense of himself, saying that what he did wasn't that bad and didn't hurt anybody because of the stuff he plagiarized was like a decade old, and blaming it on the cult of H-Bomb. Oh, okay. Trappy Jenkins says, oh, hey, you're that streamer on Rhino's stream. Hi, how's it going? Salamander saying, I love how even H Bomber Guy's own video goes into how plagiarism directly hurts the financial stability of the people who are stolen from, as it makes the audience believe the original source of those ideas was the plagiarist, but you somehow managed to be this dense. And then, of course, they're them going, in most cases, he listed the author authors in the opening credits of videos. So that's a false argument. He cited them in a lot of cases, just not in the way the cult of H Bomb would have preferred. But he, he didn't do that. That was the whole point of H-Bomber Guy's video. It, it was that you didn't do that. You just read from a book in a monotone voice and people watched it because they wanted somebody that sounded like someone that cared about them. <laughs> Trappy says, you acknowledge me so I follow. Well, you know what? This is a, this is a healthy parasocial relationship. Let's go. Salamander goes, oh my god, are you an unironic James Summerton defender in current year? Is this what I've stumbled onto? No, he did shitty stuff, but hyperbolic arguments like yours make real arguments against plagiarism seem ridiculous. So let me get this straight. James Summerton posing as a fan of James Summerton defended James Summerton on Twitter. <laughs> what? Whereas James Summerton literally built off a career off ruining the livelihoods of queer creators smaller than him. And then James responds, ruining the livelihoods, most of the stuff he plagiarized was like a decade old. You're delusional. If you think the people who watched his videos would have sought out those articles on their own. So it may be hyperbolic to say James personally ruined the lives of multiple content creators. But at the same time... When you say most of the stuff was like a decade old, uh, you're already basically giving away the plot. You're already giving away that you think it's okay, depending on how old something is, to quote it directly, changing nothing, and basically just steal it. Then... They go on to say, after another rebrand to the Achillean boy, because man can't help but use the same Greek mythology branding as Talos, uh, he began going on TikTok, first using AI voices and emoji avatars, before finally using his own face and voice, which is how others discovered it was him. 
So as the tweet says, people have been pointing out that there is no heterosexual explanation for this image in the new X-Men series. And the straights have gotten their panties in a twist, being like, what do you have to make everything gay? It's because nothing's gay. We don't even get Iceman in this new series. Like, just give us this little bit of head cannon, for God's sake. So, so as the tweet says, it's, people have it's an AI voice that sounds almost like a person. But this is one of the rebrands moving into James Summerton here. So I've seen it going around a lot. The thing on TikTok of would a woman rather be trapped in the woods with a bear or a man she doesn't know and always picking the bear and a lot of men being like really butthurt about that. Um, I just want to say to add to that equation, um, as a gay man, bear jokes aside, um, as a gay man, if somebody asked me, would you rather be trapped in the woods with a bear or a straight man you don't know? It's the same answer. I'm picking the bear. Okay, so we, we have confirmation that it is who it is and just okay so i have to ask the question every single time d d why why would you be so stupid as to use these alt accounts right after effectively faking your own suicide what benefit is there to you does this does this help you in any way? It just kind so of I, makes you look like, bit of, I don't know, a person who's trying desperately to piss everybody off because we already have, we've already formed an opinion on James Summerton. But when you do everything possible to make that opinion worse, why? I don't. I don't see the point. If you're going to do the the faking the suicide thing and then fake defending yourself on social media, I, I don't know what to say to that. I don't know how to actually respond to that at all. Lady Emily says James saw people mourn his death and call those who ever criticized him murderers. He put out a manipulative statement to ensure that fact. Okay, the person who made uh, autoplay needs to be garroted. He put out a manipulative statement to ensure the fact and then Horny posted uh, from his safe alt. While people suffered anxiety and grief for a death he never actually committed, nor was at risk for. And now he expects to come back to TikTok under a different name and try to continue the same hashtag gay content he did before any of this came to light. Never once answering for the harm he caused others by his actions and trying to profit from it all once again. So in, in, the, in a situation like this, you have to ask yourself, what does fixing this look like? What does fixing this look like? For me... It would be a, a public apology about the harm you've done in terms of stealing everybody's work and then proceeding from that point to be a content creator who does not do that and tries to elevate the voices of others instead of just your own. God's sake. Apparently, there is also a video on the internet floating around... I swear to God, if I see that thing auto... Every time I scroll around here, it's auto-playing. I, I hate it. I'm trying to scroll to find the exact thing. But apparently, he also uh, posted something with his dick and balls on the internet recently. And I'm not going to show that for obvious reasons. But uh, apparently, some people have reverse image searched to see if it's somebody else's dick and balls he's plagiarizing. It turns out it actually is his dick and balls. <laughs> that that is the that is the actual point where we can pull things through into where we were before. Where I can pull the joke from the beginning of this into here. Jess says, I mean bad taste, but you can do that. So I have to wonder. James Summerton. I know you're never gonna see this video, and even if you do, you're gonna quoted not credit me uh but 
James Emerton. I, I'm just very, very uh, con confused. Why go through any of this? Is it that much harder, from a PR perspective entirely, uh, to have a character arc than to uh, pretend nothing happened and fake your death? It, it, wh which is easier? Because the faking your death route is a whole lot harder to manage because, like, people can search obituaries and shit and try to figure out if it happened. Instead, we have somebody who basically runs the gamut of doing everything humanly possible to take every person who might have given the benefit of the doubt and just throw it out the window. Oh, and you inspired a Peter Coffin to say that H. Bomber Guy was a murderer. Like, I'm sorry, but that alone, that alone is a reason to be upset about that. Let me see here. Do, 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 do. We're suddenly going to see James telling us about the dangers of Wu. Let me see if I can find it. Do, 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 do. We've got posts from Peter Coffin uh, calling H Bomb a dirty, awful piece of shit for, I, I don't know, calling out plagiarism that makes him a dirty, awful piece of shit. That's a weird take. Peter Coffin saying if uh, James Summerton is dead, H Bomb absolutely led the charge in killing him. How? How do you have this take? How is this the take you have ever just and then of course he he had a video taking down platonic elitism a critique of h bomber guy and other whiners who hate ai remember guys peter coffin is apparently a leftist on the internet who loves people's jobs being taken away by a soulless industry that's that's peter coffin everybody who says that people on the internet murdered James Somerton for calling out harmful behavior that he did that was not just harmful to a single individual. This was not like James Somerton was in a relationship 20 years ago and did something bad and now he's a wholly different person, but it was brought up again. Like, it's not something like that. It's not like, you know, that edgy streamer that you like said the N word when they were 15 and now we have to bring it up when they're at the ripe old age of 35. This isn't that. This is a content creator did something that directly harms other content creators. And the critique on him was not he is evil, was not he needs to die. It was... He stole stuff. I've seen the H Bomber guy video twice now. The one about James Summerton. And the only takeaway I get from it is stealing is bad. Santini says, uh, I wouldn't call H Bomber guy a murderer. He acted within the confines of the law when he dissected James Summerton and turned his remains into furniture. Oh my God. Jesus. If James Summerton had taken his own life, it would be awful that he did that. Because somebody feeling like they have to commit suicide is not a good thing. It, it's not. However, when you use the idea of that to emotionally manipulate the people around you, that's wrong. And if you do that, then the correct thing to do would be seek therapy. The correct thing to do in that situation is recognize you have a problem, recognize that you are manipulating people around you that you ostensibly care about. He made an entire channel about caring about queers, so I'm going to go ahead and say that that's an accurate thing to say. Recognize that people around you do not want you dead and instead would prefer if you just improved. Seek professional help, become a better person, and show everybody as a content creator, as an influencer, as a person who exists on the internet and gives everybody around them perspective on the human condition. 
give those people a story. Give those people something to root for, someone to root for. Nobody who is a villain of a story needs to stay the villain for the entirety of that story. You were the villain of this story, of the plagiarism story. You can become a better person than that. You can improve from there. Instead, you emotionally manipulated hundreds of thousands of people on the internet and then played defense for yourself as a fake version of yourself. And not even in a funny haha -ha way where, like, you're doing it from your cat's account where we know it's you. Y you pretended to be another person and then showed your dick and balls on, on the internet while showing your whole ass on the internet, metaphorically speaking. Anyway, maybe James Summerton doesn't deserve uh, anybody giving him any more chances at this point. Who knows? I will still hold it out that anybody can change and improve, but uh, come on. That's a bit much. Please go seek professional help. Therapy can do wonders. Trust me, I know. Internet a video tagline here. <laughs>